Up close, Tropiogonathus mesembrinus is easily recognized by the keeled crests on its snout. But with wingspans up to 27 feet, you're sure to spot it before then. These large wings are not only ideal for catching air currents over its ocean hunting grounds, but they also let Tropiogonathus draft off other flying creatures by flying behind them. While not the fastest flyer on the aisles, when combined with its remarkable stamina, this makes Tropiogonathus well suited for long distance flight. Because it's on the wing so much, Tropiogonathus is best snared by those riding another flyer. I've noticed the more clever tribespeople using chain bowlers to capture them while airborne. Once tamed, Tropiogonathus has proven quite useful to the people of the Isles beyond mere transportation. Its toothed beak can grind down many common goods to their base components, which is a great way to recycle items and gear. Well, so long as you have a rag handy to wipe off the spit. That bite is punishing enough to crack armour and grind through it over time and Tropiogonathus can blow away flora and fauna alike with a gust from its wings. Air-to-air -air combat is where this creature really shines, though. And with the right tools, some survivors have managed to fit them with a saddle-mounted flat cannon and jet engine for maximum lethality. <laughs> Trust me, you haven't lived until you've ridden a jet-powered pterosaur into a dogfight. Saddle one up and see for yourself. You can be my wingman anytime.